Hi everyone, Christina here. Welcome to another video at my YouTube channel. Today I have a quick tip video for you all about uh, all about tying bows. One of my lovely subscribers or blog readers emailed me a while back with a link to a video here at YouTube showing um, how to tie your shoelaces and they had some really good tips on how to get the bow so it was straight instead of skewed and I really really loved that video and that what I learned in that video has helped me extremely when I tie bows with string or ribbon and so I wanted to show that those same tips to you guys unfortunately I can't link to that video because it's been taken down so um, I'm just gonna try to show you as best I can okay so as I have the strings come in I've got my right side and my left side so as I come in, I'm going to let the left go over the right. Do you see how that works? So the left went over the right. So now I have it like this. So normally when I would tie a bow, I would go ahead and go like this. I would bring the left over the right again. See that? How I took the left string and took it over the right loop that I created and then pull it tight. And if you can see, that bow turns uh, perpendicular instead of being the same as the string has that as I'm wrapping it around so the way you can fix that is you do it the opposite way on the second round okay so I'm gonna do this again I'm going to take the left string over the right and pull that tight all right now when I make my right loop instead of having it go over that right loop you see how that I'm going to have it go under it and then come back the other direction. It's a little bit awkward because I'm I'm used to tying string that you know my shoelaces since I was a little girl. But now as I pull it tight, that bow is lined up with this direction. See how that works? Okay, I'm gonna show you one more time and I'm going and hopefully it'll start to make sense. Okay, so I have my right side and my left side. I'm gonna come over this way. Let the left go over the right. See how it's going over the right here? Over the right. And then pull through. Now when I make my loop with my right hand string, right here with my string that's on the right, and I'm going to have it go um, under that and then through. It's hard to describe. Um, as you start tying your strings and things like that if it is going um, perpendicular to the, the other sides coming in try untying it and then just think in your mind I've got to do this the opposite way and it will most likely turn out just like this I'm going to show you another time all right so I'm bringing the left string over and under now I've got my little loop here and my first inclination is to take this over and under again but I'm not I'm gonna have, I'm going to have it go under see that going under under and over and then through the loop as I said sometimes this is awkward because I'm not I you know I'm doing something <laughs> I'm undoing training from, you know, 30 years of tying my shoelaces. So um, that's how you can get a bow just like that. I hope that explains um, tying string. Um, I also noticed that with baker's twine, you, the baker's twine doesn't unravel quite as much. And you don't get those little twisty edges quite as well, quite as much. So I think it's a great way to tie your string all around. Hope that helps you guys out. If you have any more questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments. Um, this is something you sort of have to just try on your own. So if it doesn't make sense right now, get some string and try tying it around a piece of cardstock or even a book. Um, and you'll be able to understand more what I'm talking about once you get going. So thanks for watching and I will catch you guys next time.